I was driving to school to pick up the kids and I received a phone call. Actually, I started receiving multiple phone calls from the teacher at school. She called my mom and she wouldn't pick up the first time. I listened to the message as I was driving and she said that Megan wasn't feeling well, that Megan was complaining that her throat was really tight. My throat felt kind of like tight and like, but I thought it was because it was like the art room and it was really stuffy in there. At that point, because of my son's allergy, I knew that sounded kind of like an allergic reaction. And so I called back to the school. I said, call 911. I told them to get the Benadryl and the epinephrine. As the minutes wore on, the child was struggling more and more. So we called an ambulance, asked her if she had allergies. She said she none that she knew of. I started like crying because I was like, I don't know what's happening. I, it, it was scaring me. And she started vomiting. And to me, I knew that was, she was having a full-blown reaction. It was hot and I kept on having the reaction and I was so scared. At the time the teacher's pulling the epinephrine out, I'm too, too shook up, I'm shaking, I can't give it to her. And my mom was like, she was like, she looked really scared and that made me like even more scared. I was like, oh my gosh, what's going to happen to me? So I just grabbed the EpiPen, popped the cap off and told her, told Megan it was, you know, we just counted to three. One, two, three, I popped it in her leg. She held it in there and it didn't really hurt at all. I didn't really feel anything. Within a few minutes, the ambulance was there and Megan said she was starting to feel a little bit better. My throat started to feel less tight and I didn't throw up anymore, so that was, that was good. I, I had a sense of relief once the epinephrine was being given that I at least knew we were doing the right thing and that hopefully this would stop whatever was happening. But it was really scary having it first at school. It was a scary experience, but an experience that, that probably just reminded us all the responsibility that a school has. Um, I think that um, in, in all schools need to recognize how much students depend on someone knowing what allergies are, how to treat them, and what we can do to support a child who needs help when they're in distress. I'm Dr. Ruchi Gupta. I'm a physician, a food allergy researcher, and a mother of two children, one with and one without food allergies. Now, food allergies are real. One in 13 children in the United States have a food allergy. That's two per classroom. And of these children, 40% have experienced a life-threatening reaction called anaphylaxis. Now, anaphylaxis can involve any organ system. Some common examples of symptoms include trouble breathing, wheezing, throat closing, drop in blood pressure, and it can take a child's life. School children are ours. They belong to the school for a significant part of their day. If a child has a food allergy, all staff should be trained in what to do in an emergency. If it is an unidentified allergy and the school nurse is present, stock epinephrine needs to be available to that nurse so that she can save that child. If there was an, uh, an EpiPen in uh, there, I don't I don't even know what would have happened. This was her first reaction. This was, um, we didn't even know she was allergic to anything. 25% of children, that's one in four children, experience their first anaphylactic episode at school. That's scary. Schools need food allergy policies and epinephrine auto injectors in case of any emergency. Together, we can make sure these six million children in the United States with food allergies are safe when they go to school. Thank you.